When you walked through my door, you were too shy to talk. Made up excuses that your friends were calling on the phone. But as the time went by, lost that look in your eye. We turned this home into a house, and that's the reason why. First you want time, and then you need space. Why make it perfect just to walk away? Said you meant well, but you just lacked grace. Why are we always chasing hurricanes? Let's start over. It's not the end, and I told ya. Don't think it all back to you. You just put the blame on me. Yo, 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 it's a walk with Mal. We're chilling here with new hero, so cool to be with the gents out here. And super excited to find out more about what it is that you guys are doing. So let's jump right into it. Please tell us who you are, where you're from, and how you got into music. My name's Keaton. I'm from Woodstock in Cape Town. And the, the getting into music thing, phew, it's just like, it's one of those things that's, that was in me since I was born. And wow. I was always fascinated with how music was made. Mm -hmm. And... Ever since I was a child, I just kept trying to make music, and sure. I still keep trying to make music today. And, and music creation still fascinates me today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this yeah. is where I am now. I love it. And your side? Um, I, well, I was actually born in Scotland. I grew up in Glasgow, but I moved here when I was 13. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same with me. Music's always been in my family, and my, my mm -hmm. grandfather was a lyricist. My, wow. my cousin was in a band that uh, toured with Atomic Kitten. And wow, that's dope. My family came to visit here and they made me do karaoke. And then my auntie was like, you can actually sing. So I'd say I'm very similar to him. I just don't have the patience to actually sit down and learn the craft mm. of, uh, um, you know, Making actually the you know, learning the instruments and stuff like that. Because <laughs> singing came quite, quite easily okay. to me. Okay. So I would say I'm quite a, quite a lazy bugger. Um, <laughs> but um, music's always been my passion. I like... It's, it's everything to me. I can't imagine uh -huh. life without music. Wow, well said. And obviously New Hero happened. Um, so please tell us how you guys formed and, and when it happened and why that name. We met many years ago, like 10, 10 or 11, maybe even 12 oh, years okay. ago. And uh, we were both DJing at, at nightclubs okay. when we were really young. Or, or we were trying to DJ. It was, our, it was our life goal to just get to DJ in clubs. And we used to... We used to, to yeah, we wanted to DJ. And we used to beg the club owner, like, please, <laughs> let us play the opening slot yes. or let us play the closing slot. Yeah. And we used to literally, we spend our weekends inside this one nightclub mm -hmm. for 12, 13 hours a, a night just waiting, wow. waiting for a DJ to call in sick or <laughs> sweeping the floor and, and is, as a return, Shame. get a set, like, when everyone's hey. gone. Um, is real. Yeah, so we met, we met there and we stayed friends ever since and we split paths um, mm -hmm. somewhere along the line where I started producing like dubstep music and, okay. and Scotty moved into a band mm -hmm. and we always followed each other like I loved his band and always went to go watch him in play and so we were always talking about mm -hmm. doing stuff and, and then I was busy doing an album on my side and I, wow. asked, I spoke to Scotty and I asked him like I need some, I need the voice of a thousand angels can you please can you please bring me that fire to my to my bass <laughs> album? And he sang it and, it and it did really well. It went number one um, overseas in the USA. Wow. And from there we thought, well, we can actually, if we work together well, on a full-time basis, we, we could maybe do something cool. There's not, not sort of a lot of, well, what we looked at the time, there was a lot of sort of DJs and producers that work with, you know, uh, different singers. And we thought, yeah. what have we actually created an act? Okay. And we, we did something that's like, I mean, you could say our sound is sort of pop dance, but mm -hmm. every single one of our songs has a meaning to it. There's a, there's a story behind it and it's mm -hmm. very personal. Yeah. So, it's, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it was always written on the cards. For me, it was more just, you know, after a few beers, yeah, man, we're going to work together. But he doesn't <laughs> drink, so he was always going, yeah, no, we are going to drink. <laughs> we are really so, going to work so together. So he's like, you're holding, remember we spent it? Well, I don't remember. But, <laughs> but, uh, but then um, it actually came at the point where I was... I'd done the band thing for 10 years. Um, mm -hmm. I 
you know, I'd, I'd done all the festivals, we'd had a lot of radio play, but I just yeah. wasn't quite getting to the point where I personally wanted to be as an artist. Mm. And then I decided that, I started to look at the industry and I started mm. to think, you know, we, we live in a country that's predominantly um, African. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was making music that, you know, is predominantly listened to by white people. Yeah, you need to be yeah, honest and, you know, with yourself. Yeah? I had to be blunt about yeah. this. And I thought to myself, what you know, how big could I get? Yeah. You know, what, what what goal am I trying to get exactly. here? Exactly. And 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 I wasn't planning on moving overseas, so mm -hmm. then we just decided to make the decision. You know what? Let's let's make music for the market that we're in. Clever, clever. And, but let's do it better than everyone else. It, of course, I mean, if you want and, to stand uh, out, you yeah. need to. <laughs> <laughs> we're not here to take part. We're here to take over. I thanks. I love it. And then the name New Hero. Why that name? Um. I'll actually let Keith okay, cool. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the, um, we thought of a few names and we and, and we, we just we just thought to ourselves that South Africa needed something new at the time and um, the music scene needed uh, something different. Yeah. And we we tried to find a name that expressed something different and mm -hmm. a couple of, a couple of names we had and, and just that one really stuck, stuck yeah guys. yeah it's just it's just a couple of words we put together on different things and we saw which one and that's that's the one it's that basic and it says what it is you know yeah. ultimately ultimately you know our goal is you know first of all we've always said okay and you know, we want to we want to get to the top of the charts in south africa but yeah. that's not our end goal we want to go overseas we, you know we want to go play globally and you know we want to be the hero of south africa we want people to actually wow. turn around and say you know those guys are South African. Wow, I get what you're saying. So that's the vision, obviously, that's for the guys. Vision, yeah. Let's speak about your singles. Singles that made, obviously, the hits on, on the radio, which I think is totally dope. You said most of the music is personal. Let's speak about Kryptonite and um, Chasing Hurricanes. Like, where do you guys find inspiration when it comes to your music? Okay, so let's start with Kryptonite. Kryptonite is actually the first time I worked with an, another writer. Okay. I normally write all my own stuff, but I decided to try something else. So we pulled in Caleb Williams, mm -hmm. very talented young man. Mm -hmm. Um, I foresee a good career for him, wow. but um, he, you know, he, he sort of, um, he sort of wrote that song for me in the, sort okay. of the space that I was in. So I would say that song is more about, you know, when you're in a relationship and mm -hmm. it, you, you're with that person that you love so much mm -hmm. and that you know you can't get away from them. They, uh, they kind of become, you know, they're not good. Nice. They're not, they're not, they can't be good for you, so they're kind of like your weakness. Uh. And chasing hurricanes is um, <coughs> is you know I would say chasing hurricanes is quite personal to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know when you could sort of describe relationships as a hurricane. Mm -hmm. You know when it's it's when it's like when two beautiful things come together it creates yeah. you know mm -hmm. hot air and cold air. What does mm -hmm. it create? It creates a tornado or a hurricane. Yeah. But you know, but we but but we as human beings are always drawn to. Maybe the things that aren't good for us, True. but they feel good. It so feels good, yeah. We're constantly chasing hurricanes. Wow, well said. You're, you're deep, eh? Yeah, it's too deep for me. That's like intense. That's beautifully said. And then what was, it, what was the feeling like when you heard your music on, on radio for the first time? Um, pride, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it was, it, that was very emotional for you. It, it took a lot. It took many years mm -hmm. to get there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was just... It was just the goal that mm -hmm. was ticked off. Yeah, wow. I, was, I was just really happy. I don't get I don't get happy often because I'm a very like morbid person. Oh, okay, I'm a you very are. like introverted oh, wow. morbid person. So those that's one of the few times in my whole life I can actually wow. say that I was I was proud of myself. Wow. I remember that. I remember that day it was. We heard it got playlisted on three radio stations. He's like, wow. okay, stop calling me. I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, he said, I'll, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Oh, but it's, 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 I can't handle any more good news. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too much. And, but, uh, but let me tell you something. There's a difference between getting your music on radio mm -hmm. and getting your music on high rotation on radio. You know, it's, oh, okay. You know, I because it. Reborn had lots of music on radio. Wow. But, and, you know, when I play it to some people, they'll be like, oh, I know the song. But New Heroes had high rotation, so, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a big difference. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, the feeling is totally different as well. And then, obviously, like highlights in your career that you can share individually. Highlights in your career. Well, you know, we're speaking about New Hero. We've only been, go I think, it's just over one year. And you've done so much. I feel like you guys have been together for. 
ones. Only, only the four number ones. No, we're very, we're very, very grateful. Yeah. That, you know that everything we put out. I mean, we didn't actually do this in the sense where we're going to go. Okay, we're going to create a whole live act. We yeah. just said we were both at crossroads, I think, mm-hmm. and uh, with our brands. Mm-hmm. And we said, let's just get into the studio. Let's just see what happens. Let's see uh-huh. what we can do together. Send it out. If it gets see playlisted. Yeah, I get it. what you're saying, I and didn't it, do it for any other reason. And, and then it started getting playlisted and we were like, okay, well actually we might have to take this live now. You know, <laughs> we, we might actually have a business wow. here. We started getting offers to play live shows before we wow. had um, more, than one song. more than one song, plus <laughs> before we had any sort of live show. And we promised ourselves we'd do things differently. So mm-hmm. the easy way out with that would have been to just um, go stand there and DJ a set of other people's music and play our song maybe that we booked for in between uh-huh. and we didn't want to do that so we took an entire year almost yeah. we took an entire year to build a live show and to make music f- strictly for our live sets and uh-huh. um, and now we, we ha- the work has paid off we have a very fun um, live show that we, that we have and, and like a, lo- a lot of the stuff that you'll hear live is, is completely different to what you hear on the radio wow. we even have different versions of it because I mean radio music works well it depends on the type of environment exactly, but, yeah. but we have a we, I mean look we call ourselves a genreless act and that's not just a genreless that, yeah. what does it mean we, you we, well, we, we don't list for the genres no <laughs> we just whatever we feel like making we'll make okay. like he, like you'll send me like a cool rock song he's like listen to the vocal on this yeah. or you know I'll send him a cool techno song and uh-huh. and then we just sort of what about the feeling at the time we don't we don't sit down to go let's make okay. a song like this it just comes out like that and yeah. that's why we try to take people through a journey uh, uh, we, we, we have hip-hop songs this white boy raps. Oh, oh, you best believe. <laughs> Not very well, but he <laughs> but tries I mean, to. It's a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts. But, um, uh-huh. Yeah, so we, we try to keep it genreless, but I can tell you one thing that we did try to do differently is that when you hear us live, it is yeah. 100% all our music, wow. and there is not one sample used. We've wow. created every single sound ourselves. There's no sample packs. There's nothing. Shocked. It's all made by this Shocked. man over here. Yeah, stunning. That's hard work, you know. And then obviously as an artist, it's hard work if you love it. Uh, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. it's passion, it's, you know, yeah. and that drives you at the end of the day. Yeah. Then obviously, like as an artist in Cape Town, how do you survive? How do you guys survive in, in Cape Town? You, don't. Because, you think? Do you think it's possible? <laughs> is it possible? Because I mean, I'm an artist <coughs> myself, and it, it's, it's it gets hard. But um, I mean, do you think it's possible? And how do you guys survive here? It's possible if you if you if you turn yourself into a brand and you turn your brand into a business and you run it like a business, I think. Oh. And artists in the music industry, you, your your bread and butter not only comes from being played on radio, because because that's not not the no. greatest with Samro and and all the funny things. Mm-hmm. But the more you get played on radio, the more the more people hear about you and the more shows you get booked to play and, okay. and, and the, the like income, if, when, if we're talking about how do you survive, if you mean with income yeah. and, and making it a job, then your money comes from shows. Be all and end all. Yeah, you don't have to say, you have to be on radio to do this. He's made a very successful career as a DJ, mm. um, you know, from having no radio play, but just sure. by, by doing what he does live. Yes, it does help you. But the reason why I think we were able to, to um, to gain, um, you know, we, I wouldn't say we're successful. I wouldn't say we're doing. You're still obviously working look, towards. We have a few number ones. Yeah. Who cares? You know, yeah. it's, it's, we're, we're trying to aim, aim higher. But what I'd say to you is, what he said there is, you have to create a brand. Okay. You have to have something that people can take away from the show. Mm-hmm. That is something that you've created in your own little universe. Yeah. Whether it be through your design, into your photography, into the saying. music you play, into the way you dress, yeah. into the brands you align with. Uh-huh. You need to, and, and also content is key. You know, you okay. gotta be pushing out content. All the time. Yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. you can't you can't just have your Facebook page dormant for three months. I because get what then you're saying. people are just gonna go oh, as a ghost ship. They need to be able to engage with you as a brand. Exactly. And there's a few artists that are doing that really well. And mm-hmm. that's you know, you make mistakes along the way, but you learn, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why I say the music is obviously the most important part. Yeah. Because nothing irritates me more than seeing these self proclaimed influencers. Yeah. You know, that have mm-hmm. great Instagram bots. But that means nothing if yeah, you don't know how to they do have the great job. Insta- Instagram bots or yeah. they can they can bot four million views on, on, on YouTube. Yeah. But um you know, that doesn't help we you. We get in that end. in all the industries, yeah. It doesn't help you at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, obviously, I mean, what challenges have you faced in your career? I mean, we all face challenges. Uh, Where do you start? I think I should start. Where do you start? Where yeah, do you like start? just a few that a few that you can mention. Change the question. Where are you not facing challenges? <laughs> a few challenges that you, as an artist, face. For me, the the worst challenge is um, making music, finding the balance between making the music that you want to make 
and making the music for radio because radio was, won't always play what you, like. what you like. They play what their formula is and what they think the audience will like. Okay. So you sort of they try. Radio tries to mold you to a specific sound, which is not always your yeah. sound. And a lot of people would call, would would call you people that have followed you for a long time would call you a sellout for, okay. for doing something like that. But they don't know. Especially in this case, I mean, he comes from the hard. You know, bass music. Yeah. And now he's essentially making, I hate to use the word, pop music. Uh, but, but, as Scotty said earlier, every song has a meaning and they don't, um, nobody breaks down the songs like Scotty and I do. Okay. And um, I, Scotty's lyrics are really deep and it's, it always has a meaning and, okay. and the melodies that I put behind Scotty's tracks is always to accommodate these vocals. Okay. If he has a sad vocal, I have a sad melodies in the background yeah. and stuff that I'll sit for many hours and many nights and do. Uh -huh. So we never release a song that we're not happy with just for radio. Mm -hmm. But because it does so well on radio, um, people think that we are selling out oh. and, you know, and it's and it's that's uh -huh. sort of a challenge for me because that annoys me because uh -huh. we do still work hard on yeah, it. Every single one of our songs that, that we've said, it can be broken down to an acoustic guitar or just piano. So it's got a lot of production behind it, mm -hmm. but you can break it down and it can be played with just a guitar oh. by one person or on, on keyboard. It has, oh. For us, it has to be a good song oh. in order to, then you build from there, you know? I get what you're saying, yeah, the foundation. The foundation has to be good. And, 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 and for us, there has, to be, there has to be a meaning. And like, like a lot of the time people, what I really love, I mean, I, I, I spoke to a friend the other day and he was going through this breakup with his girlfriend. Uh -huh. And he told me, he told me like, in Chasing Hurricanes, Chasing Hurricanes is quite a sad song, mm -hmm. even though it's quite upbeat. But sometimes it's okay to tap into those emotions, and it's okay oh. to feel those emotions. Mm. And he was going through this breakup, and he actually asked me. He said to me, "I actually felt like you wrote that song for me." Wow. And, and I said, point, "But I said to him, it? I did, wow. you know, because I wrote that song for for myself." And that's the beauty of the English language is that you yeah. can take out your own meaning mm. from, from things. I mean, there's some lines that I say and someone says, what did you mean there? And I'll say, well, what do you think I meant? Yeah. And then he says this and I say, that's what I meant. Uh -huh. but, it, but it might not be it what I meant. It's different for different people. And, th yeah. and that's the way it's got to be. Like, uh -huh. I, like maybe sometimes my, some people say to me, like, I don't really understand what you're saying. But instead of me actually spelling it out in 100% mm -hmm. a very simple pop song, I'd rather give something a bit cryptic. Yeah. That you can sort of make your own meaning of. Wow. Well, well, well said. And then, obviously, I mean, what's next for you guys? Um, albums coming out. What's next for you guys um, for the next month or so? We want to work on an album because we we are gonna win a summer next year. And I, I like you guys. <laughs> so I, I decided to win an Oscar in the next year. I'm gonna be the first colored, you know. Happen. Yeah, yeah I just decided to make the decision. I don't know how the people feel about that, but yeah. I don't care. <laughs> so we're gonna take the summer next, and so f before we get a summer, we have to finish an album. So <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is finish an album. So far, the plan. And if we don't win it, it's rigged. <laughs> I love this. I love this. No, and then, obviously, any artists that you would love to work with in future? I enjoy working with Scotty, so I've not actually thought of anyone else. Maybe yeah. Scotty wants to bring somebody else. We're, 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 to collab you in there. We're actually doing, we, well, of course, we did a collab with Amin Haran, who's our boy. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're doing a collab with Mark Stent. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, we, uh, no. But you know what's dope? You know, I wouldn't mind if you, if you have work, a team. I wouldn't mind doing work with Nasty C. I want to do something different. That's interesting, actually. I don't want to do something with guys that are on the dance charts or, or guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to do something different. I want to work with like a rock band or ah. or, or something different. That's dope, unique. Because people don't, people are afraid to do those kind of there's, things. Yeah, really. there's no point working with somebody that will bring to the table what we can just do ourselves. Ah. So we we need to work with somebody on the complete other end of the spectrum yeah. and yeah. challenge ourselves and make something, something different, different and different. unique. And, and that's and that's all we, we've said to ourselves. So we said, okay. So we've had, we've had three number ones on the dance charts now. Yeah. Now we need a number one on the rock chart. Now we sure. need a number one on that the pop be chart. That awesome, eh? Because we don't, we don't want to restrict ourselves. Don't, like, yeah. Because that way, within five years' time, our sound will be dead. Our sound will never be dead. Exactly. Because we're going to keep evolving. Exactly. That's the point, evolving. I know Madonna, they always said she's so amazing because she kept evolving. She yeah. kept changing with the times. And that is why she can be so successful. And yeah. that's the point. I think a lot of people get that. Miss, you know, they, you want to be relevant. But I think it's important to be open to be open to change and open exactly. to, to combine and collab with different people or just make your music more relevant, you know? Yeah. You know Last question, where can people obviously catch you guys? Um, where can they get the mu your music, social media? You can share all of that. We love chatting to everybody on, on our Facebook page or on our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. So facebook.com yeah. forward slash new hero band mm -hmm. and Instagram new hero music. 
Or is it New Era Band? New Era Band. New Era Band again? Oh yeah, SoundCloud would be New Era Music. All our, all our music's available for free we'll online. We'll call ourselves a band. A band, I see, yeah, like two people. There's two of us. <laughs> so we're a band. We're we also two. We're live with a keyboard. We're a band. We're a band. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome um, stuff. Yeah, so all our, all our songs are available for free download <laughs> always. So, mm-hmm. yeah, they can just download all our music for free <laughs> on SoundCloud. And we encourage you to yeah, steal our music. Steal it. Steal it, share it, get it out there. <laughs> You, and if you're a young producer out there uh, and you want some help and you want us to crit your stuff, we're always wow, available cool. to, to help you yeah. and to, 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 to help you make the, dis, the, the good decisions, not like we made back in the day. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, just try try keep it fresh and yeah. try and try try push against the trend, you know, don't let anyone hold you back. Wow. I was going to ask about advice, but you just went into it. Thank you for that, that sharing that knowledge there. Thank you so much. New Euros in the building. It's so cool to like, just feed off you guys, get the energy and, and love what you guys are doing, man. Keep pushing. And yeah, that's it from me, Mario Pell with New Hero, signing out. <laughs>